Welcome to Jay and Laura TV. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationships. And this one is classic. We've had this issue. Uh, we've dealt with this issue ourselves. But before I ask the question, the way we get our questions is via Facebook or email. So please feel free to send any questions that you might have to us on our Facebook page or via email on our website at jayandlaura.com. So here is today's question. What do you do when you and your spouse discuss a particular situation and decide together that you're not going to pursue it further? And then your spouse does anyway. Uh-oh. Well, first right off the bat, yes, this will make hurt feelings because trust has been broken. You've decided together not to do something, to do something, whatever it is, and then one of you goes and does the exact opposite of what you have agreed on together. And so trust is broken. And again, some of those difficult uh, conversations that have to happen. You have to let your spouse know how this made you feel. Um, and do it in a non-accusing way, not why did you do this, but help me understand. Help me understand, I thought we decided to go this way. Maybe you didn't, under, maybe, maybe you didn't understand what we were talking about. Maybe you saw it differently. <clears throat> Can we have a conversation about it? But again, not being accusing, Communicating how you're feeling, but then trying to get to the crux of the matter too. Here's a couple of examples. Uh, for example, I want a new sand wedge, okay? New sand wedge is $100, $120 to get a really good one, and that's what I want. So I go to Laura and say, hey, I, what do you think? Let's talk about the budget. And we come to the conclusion that no, we've got vacation coming up. That $100 or $120 needs to be put towards vacation. Well, if I go out and behind Laura's back, secretly buy that golf club and stuff it in my golf bag, at some point she's going to find out. At some point she's either going to see it in my bag or she's going to see the credit card bill and that trust... Or all of a sudden he's going to be able to get out of the sand trap and <laughs> that never happens. What'd you do? Buy a new club? <laughs> that was good. That was very good. But, but the bottom line is trust has been broken. Uh, another thing, and this, is, this, is, this happened in our marriage more times than I could count. Hmm. Uh, what, yeah. What, what am I going to talk about, honey? Things that I would buy and put in my closet. She would buy clothes, <laughs> put them in the back of her closet, and then two or three weeks later, <laughs> months, she would bring it out and start wearing it. I'd go, where did you get this? Oh, I've had it forever. <laughs> well, that was I a lot. A couple months, yeah, I've had it. That was a lot. <laughs> see, you cannot allow those little bitty lies like that to build the distrust because, because now I get very upset if I see something new that we haven't discussed because we should, after 31 years, be able to discuss But we've also, and, and I don't think we've had a set amount, but we have heard of couples who say, okay, here's, here's an agreement we're going to come to. We each have $50 that we can spend. Yes, $50 a month. If I'm out shopping at TJ Maxx, I can buy a new necklace because it's $10 or whatever. And so, but the other thing that I have learned to do is when I come home with those packages, even though I've spent the amount we've said we could or less, I still show him stuff. I don't put it in the back of my closet anymore. I don't, because there is a trust that needs to be built. Yes, we've made this agreement <clears throat> that we can spend this amount of money, but I'm also going to show you how I spend it. And most of the time it's just because I got really good deals and I want to show him how good it is. So when he can get a really good deal on a sand wedge. So when trust gets broken, <laughs> The, the bottom line is you've got to start talking about it and you've got to learn how to rebuild the trust. And I, I use this illustration on how to rebuild trust. It's like taking a, a, a sheet of paper and placing it on your table every day. You don't see it immediately growing, but a month, two months later, you'll start to see a stack of papers there. Once trust is broken, it has to be rebuilt very, very slowly and very, very consciously or it won't be rebuilt properly. I also, I would also say when, when you are the spouse who has been offended and your trust is the one that's been broken and your spouse is working hard to build, rebuild that trust, you have to look for those ever so small tiny, victories. small victories and acknowledge them. Um, because if you don't, then that, that spouse who's trying to rebuild the trust gets very frustrated. I'm doing everything I can, but you're not seeing it. So I think that would be a really good Yep. thing to do too. Great question. Common question. Thanks for asking it. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon. This is Jay and Laura TV here to answer your questions on marriage and relationships. Don't forget, send us your questions. We love hearing from you.